Hi, this is Alex from Grizzly Entertainment. Today episode me talking about the the rest of my West the, the, the rest of my wrestling collection. And this is this is the, the this is the last one until I buy some more. So our first one is Wanted Dead wait, Wanted Dead or Alive season of season one and Wanted Dead or Alive season two. This is a great Steve McQueen movie from 19. Uh, this is from the okay. This is from the 50s, 58 to 61. So you get I got this is the whole this is the whole show right here. Too bad they didn't put it into one into one big box, but this is just as good. And he's a good actor too. You had a lot of action, fast paced. Our next one, The Great Missouri Raid, from 1950, well, from 1950. You get Warren Bond, Bruce Benner, so you, so you get Tarzan, and you get the wagon, the wagon chain person. And this is a real good movie from 1950. I've seen this movie one time. It's, it's fast paced. Oh yeah. In this movie, in this movie, I tried to look it up for the so I could get a DVD copy, and they never released this film, never again. So I got the only, the only, the only VCR copy. Now they do got a beta copy of this, but I don't got a beta machine, so I could tell so it make no sense to me picking that up. But this is the only copy that they made. And I looked on eBay and everybody, nobody's selling it. So I got I got my only I got the only copy of this movie. So I'm happy I was able to pick this movie up. I think I did it from a library that was closing down. So this movie drove special. And our next one is the Scalp Hunter, with Burt Lancaster, Telly Zavalas, and Ozzy Davis. And this is a real good action movie from 1968. It is a two-hour, it's almost it's, it's about a two-hour movie that goes by fast. You don't know you're sitting there the whole time watching it. Our next one, do do the do of the Ablo with Sidney Poitier and Jane Gardner. And this movie is real good. They got one of the best soundtracks in the movie from 1966. It's over by Rofastest movie. Uh, here's Shane with Alan Ladd. And Jack Tell and Ben Johnson. So again, so Jack Tell is the bad guy in this movie. He don't play good guy for for any movie he do. And this is a real good movie from 1952. Now this movie is kind of slow in a lot of places. So if you don't mind a slow paced movie, then this is a good movie. So if you're looking for a fast paced movie, then you shouldn't watch this movie. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't show action until the middle and the end of this movie. Here's the Davy Crockett movie set. You get Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier, and Davy Crockett and the River Private. And this is where uh, Beth Parker and Buddy Epson. So you get the Beverly Hillbilly guy, or Jed. Red, red, red Clampett. And then you get Davy Crockett on the 60s. He played Pat Boone. But <laughs> this, these are real two good moves. They are, they're real fast paced. They got a lot of action. Got got the great theme song in this. And, I'm, and I think these are full screen moves, uh, wide screen moves. So that's good. I don't know if they still make this thing because I bought this thing a long time ago. So it might be out of print, might still be in print. 
our next one. Chisholm from John, uh, yeah, John Wayne Chisholm from 1970. And this is an okay movie. John Wayne movies, you have to be in the mood to watch them because they all seem like the same picture. You don't change up his picture ever. So, you, so my collection, I picked certain John Wayne movies. And some of these I got because they would have the special on them. And I picked up a handful of movies. And I love my westerns. So I got all they can sell them. <laughs> Here's the Clint Eastwood Western Collection. Now you get High Plain Gypsum. From 70, 73, Joey Kidd from 72, and two meals for Sister Sarah, 69. So you get you get three good movies. Now, Joey Kidd is not the best movie. That movie's only good in, in the beginning and good at the end. The rest of it's all boring, slow paced. I play Gypster, it's, it's the same too. It's good in the beginning, it slows down, then it waits the end to get fast. Now, Two Mill for Sister Shira is a little faster paced movie. But that's because Don Siegel directed uh, Sister Shira. And he and he did Dirty Harry, the same director, and he did another, he did Coogan Bluff. So he, he's a good director. If you see his name, you know it'll be a fast paced movie. Let's see who did the middle one. Oh, uh, George. George. The guy, see, the guy that did that, you know, he, he's a good cowboy director, but he didn't do good in this one. He, I think he was over, he did Joey the Kid, that's why it was kind of slow. And then Clint Eastwood directed a uh, high gifter. Clint Eastwood is not really a good director. Now these movies are in widescreen, so that's good. And our last one, for right now, our last, my, my last Western, to I buy some more, is Zorro Ride Again. This is a serial that you had to go every Saturday to watch one episode. This is from 1939. This is a real good movie. They meant, um, they, they're not really meant to be seen all at once for a three hour, for a four hour movie, but I'm a person that when I turn on the movie, I can't, I can't stop it and go back to watch it a second to go back and watch it. So I watch everything from beginning to end. So that's all my Western movies. So please like and subscribe and have a groovy day, and we'll talk, and we'll have another video coming out real soon.